If you're here right now, it's because God has something special to tell you. He says, My dear child, in the journey of life, we often encounter moments that challenge our sense of self-worth and confidence. One such moment might be when someone you deeply love begins to speak about your age or appearance in a way that feels hurtful. You might hear them telling others, behind your back, that you look older or different than you feel inside. It can be a painful experience, especially when it comes from someone whose opinion matters to you, but let's take a moment to pause and reflect on this situation through a spiritual lens. Imagine that God, the divine source of all love and wisdom, is speaking directly to you right now. How might he guide you through this moment? First, recognize that your worth is not defined by how others perceive you. In the grand tapestry of life, every thread is unique and valuable. Your age, your appearance, these are simply external aspects of who you are. What truly matters is the essence of your soul, the love you carry within, and the goodness you bring into the world. God sees you not through the lens of worldly standards but through the eyes of unconditional love. He understands the depth of your heart, the strength of your spirit, and the beauty of your character. When someone judges you based on superficial aspects, they are missing the true essence of who you are. Their opinions are reflections of their own perspectives and insecurities, not of your worth or value. It's natural to feel hurt when someone you care about makes disparaging remarks about you. Yet, it is important to remember that these remarks do not diminish your divine light. In fact, they can serve as an opportunity for you to reaffirm your inner strength and confidence. Your spiritual journey is not defined by others' opinions but by your relationship with yourself and your faith. Think of this moment as a chance to turn inward and reconnect with your true self. When faced with criticism or judgment, remind yourself of your inherent worth. You are a child of the divine, created with purpose and love. No external comment or opinion can alter the truth of your divine identity. Reframe this challenge as a moment to grow in grace and understanding. It's an opportunity to show compassion not only to yourself but also to those who may have made hurtful comments. Often, People speak out of their own fears and insecurities. By responding with kindness and maintaining your own self-respect, you demonstrate the strength of your spirit and the depth of your faith. Consider the story of a beautiful flower that blooms regardless of the weather or the soil in which it is planted. It doesn't matter if others see its beauty or not, its purpose is to bloom and bring joy in its own way. Similarly, your purpose is to live authentically and to embrace the fullness of who you are, regardless of others' opinions. As you navigate through this experience, remember to turn to your spiritual practices for comfort and strength. Prayer, meditation, and reflection can help you stay grounded and remind you of your divine connection. Surround yourself with positive affirmations and supportive individuals who uplift and encourage you. In moments of doubt or hurt, ask yourself, what is the divine message in this situation? How can I use this experience to grow closer to my true self and to God? By seeking these answers, 
you align yourself with a higher perspective and find peace amidst the challenges. Finally, embrace the journey of self-love and acceptance. Each day, remind yourself that you are deserving of love and respect, both from others and from yourself. Your true worth is not determined by age or appearance but by the love and light you bring into the world. As we continue this journey together, let us hold on to the truth that our worth is eternal and unchanging. Let us embrace each moment with grace and confidence, knowing that we are deeply loved and cherished by the Divine. In the next chapter of this story, we will explore how to transform these challenges into opportunities for spiritual growth and self-discovery. Together, we will find strength in our faith and confidence in our true selves. God is saying, in the quiet moments of your life when the bustle of the day fades and the world grows silent, hear my voice whisper to you, I am here, ever-present, closer than your very breath. Remember, you are never alone, for I always walk beside you, even through the darkest valleys and the highest peaks of your journey. If you believe in God, like this video, my child, know that today is not the day to surrender to despair. Instead, it is a day of renewal, a day to rise up against the trials, and to recognize the strength I have planted within you. Your journey is unique, crafted by my hand, and every challenge you face is a stepping stone towards a greater purpose. Do not fear the struggles, for they are shaping you, molding you into the vessel I designed you to be. Hear me clearly, for I speak life into your weary spirit. You are stronger than you know, more capable than you ever imagined, and loved more deeply than you can comprehend. My love for you stretches beyond the stars, unending and unwavering. Lean on me, your Almighty, when you feel weak, my power is made perfect in your weakness. In moments of doubt, cast your cares upon me, for I care for you with an everlasting love. Let me be your strength and your shield, let my joy be your refuge, for my promises are true and faithful. Type Amen if you agree, my child, remember the victories of the past, the mountains climbed and the oceans crossed. Have I ever forsaken you? No, and I never will. Just as I was with Moses at the Red Sea, so I am with you. I will make a way where there seems to be no way. Today, I call you to trust deeply in my plans, not as you understand, but with a heart full of faith. For faith is not merely knowing that I can, it is believing that I will. Let the seeds of trust bloom into flowers of joy in your life, for what I have in store for you is more beautiful than you can envision. Do not rush the work I am doing in your heart, transformation is a process, and like a butterfly emerging from its chrysalis, it cannot be hurried. Be patient, be persistent, and above all, be prayerful. Every prayer you whisper is heard, every tear seen, and not one moment of your suffering is wasted. Type 999 if you believe in Jesus, rejoice, for the next chapter of your life will be a testament to my goodness and mercy. As the dawn breaks and dispels the night, so will the clarity of my plan unfold before you. You will walk in abundance and live in peace.
Your heart will overflow with gratitude, and your lips will sing praises to my name. Stand firm, therefore, clad in the armor of faith, girded with truth, and shielded by my love. The battles you face are not yours alone, but mine. Together, we will conquer, and I will elevate you to heights unimaginable, my beloved, know that you are precious in my sight. I have called you by name, you are mine. Fear not the future, for I am already there. Walk boldly in the path I have set for you. Embrace each new day with courage and trust that I am orchestrating everything for your ultimate good. Type 10 to 10 if you love Jesus. As we wrap up, let's unite in a prayer for everyone who has received this divine message today. Psalm 91 I dwell in the secret place of the Most High. I remain stable and fixed under the shadow of the Almighty, whose power no foe can withstand. The Most High is my refuge and my fortress. He is my God, on whom I lean, rely, and trust. Thus, He will save me from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence, example, coronavirus. He covers me with his feathers, and I find refuge under his wings. His truth and his faithfulness are my shield and buckler. I am not afraid of the terror of the night, nor of the arrow that flies by day. Neither am I afraid of the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand, but it will not come near me. The Most High is my habitation and my refuge, so no harm will befall me, nor will any plague or calamity come near me or my home. He commands His angels to go with me, defend me, and preserve me at all times. I love the Lord, and I know that He loves me. He is merciful and kind to me. So I trust and rely on Him, knowing He never leaves me nor forsakes me. He will deliver me and honor me. When I call upon Him, He answers me and will be with me in trouble. He will bless me with a long and satisfying life and show me His salvation. Amen. Type 1111 to affirm your faith. If you're new to our community, consider showing your support by donating to our ministry and clicking the Join button to become a part of our spiritual family. There's a powerful message from the angels waiting for you in the next video.